assalamu alaikum yes the part 2 of your d pharmacy second year the subject pharmaceutical chemistry 2 okay uh, you are waiting for this video many comments on this video so please uh, begin fast part 2 we are waiting for the part 2 yes now alhamdulillah we have we had came across the part 2 here in pharmaceutical chemistry 2 of your d pharmacy second year with answers okay question and answers but practice only these questions these are enough for your second year d pharmacy see classify anti cancer drugs with example this is the question number 16 till 15 in part 1 we have completed if you are new to this uh, video means if you are seeing the new one newly admitted one means uh, first go and observe uh, top 15 questions part 1 i will add in the in the description that now see define classify anti cancer drug with example first you have to write this definition of this anti cancer drug the drug that is effective in the treatment of a malignant or cancerous disease okay this is also known as anti neoplastic uh, drug see chemotherapy also known as anti cancer medication these will destroy kill shrink or slow the growth of the cancer cells mainly see uh, neoplastic uh, or chemotherapy these all are the these all come comes under anti cancer treatment okay now see classification alkylating agents example cis platin then carboplatin then microtubule damaging agents which will damage the microtubule that is the uh, vinblastine and vin uh, vincristine then uh, topo isomeric 1 inhibitor okay they will inhibit uh, the, this uh, this enzyme will inhibit the property in the cells uh, of the cancerous cells that is uh, topotican topotican now antibiotics some of the antibiotics are there let's see uh, across that antibiotics that is of the actimyosin d and doxorubicin then miscellaneous some of the compounds like tretinoin and then hydroxyurea hydroxyurea these are the examples uh, with the classifications of anti cancer drugs now the question number 17 see here some questions are very important for your examination those are structures and uses see they will ask you structure and uses see i have plotted some of the structure and uses for you you have to practice these uh, structures minimum yeah see sometimes what they will ask uh, that write the structure and use of the coramine okay sometimes many times sorry they, they will ask in this way write the structure and the use of a coramine then sulfa diazine mannitol glutamide but unfortunately what they will do they will alter the question write a note on sulfa diazine write a note on mannitol write a note on glutathiamide then what you have to do you have to first write what is this glutathiamide then write the structure uses it's enough see now coramine see this is the structure of the coramine in the benzene ring there is the nitrogen then here the double bond o ester bond c you have to practice this complex structure then this coramine it is used to prevent overdose of the tranquilizer it is used to treat the fatigue then the sulfur diazine c to benzene ring attachment of ns2 group then it is used to treat uti urinary tract infection eye infection then a travelers disease diarrhea sorry travelers diarrhea okay bactrim ds tablet available in the market sulfur diazine now next one is mannitol it is used to reduce pressure and swelling around the brain and in the eyes then it is used to treat kidney failure which one mannitol today you are uh, getting this mannitol in a 100 ml saline type of the uh, conditions means like 100 ml uh, like you have observed the ns no normal saline bottles uh, the same packing this mannitol will be observed injections these are injectables then glutamide this one see glutamide the structure of this one structures are very complex you have to practice these and i will add in the, all these uh, question booklet uh, sorry question with answer booklet in your description okay go and download that then it is a hypnotic and sedative drug used to treat insomnia sometimes they will ask write a note on sedative and hypnotic you have to write down this glutamide structure uses then uh, adrenaline see adrenaline it is also one of the very important uh, drug it is used for the treatment of serious uh, shock produced by the severe allergic reactions or collapse many allergic reactions can be treated by this adrenaline then it may also used to restart your heart if it has uh, stopped okay if it has stopped means uh, doctors what they are doing they are giving the adrenaline injections directly they are giving okay the, in the veins uh, 
at that time what happens uh, the uh, adrenaline will start their mechanism of action they start their biosynthetic activity and they will uh, just start a uh, pump the heartbeat then diazepam see this is the structure of the diazepam okay sedative one diazepam it is used to pr produce sleepness it is used for muscle spams and seizures also we are using this diazepam okay then uh, halothen halothen now what is the use of this halothen see in this one question i have combined many questions two to three questions uh, combined in only one questions many structures i have uh, plotted here many structures and uses go through those halothen it is a general anesthesia okay halothen then it uh, induces muscle relax relaxation and reduces the pain sensitivity by altering the tissue excitability then pyrimethamine see this one is the chemical name of this uh, pyrimethamine this is the structure of the pyrimethamine go through this structure practice the structure if you practice uh, twice uh, twice uh, then definitely you will know this then it is used to treat malaria it is used to treat a serious parasite infection of the body brain or eye okay now next uh, let's move towards the question number 18 see this is also based on the structural chloroquine chloroquine this one is the structure of the chloroquine used to treat malaria used to treat liver infection caused by the protozoa then propanolol see this is the structure of the propanolol here in propanolol means it is mainly it is used to treat high blood pressure to prevent heart problems cardiac problems then uh, procaine see it is used for dementia patient means dementia patient means uh, central nervous system disorder it is a type of used to treat depression high blood pressure also we are using this uh, procaine okay procaine next one uh, uh, pyrazinamide see this one it is used to treat the tuberculosis pyrazinamide Hmm. Then write a structure and uses of uh, proflavine, metronidazole, lignocaine, ethambutol, chlorpheniramine. See, proflavine. This is the chemical name. It is used to, it is used an antiseptic. It is used in wound dressing to prevent the infection. Metronidazole. This is the chemical name. This is the structure of the metronidazole. It is used as an antibiotic. It is used to treat the skin infection. Then, uh, rasea, mouth infections. Uh, UTI urinary tract infection, the tooth infection, lignocaine. See, this is the structure of the lignocaine, local anesthesia. Anesthetic, it is used as an antirhythmic drug. Ethambutol, yes, it is also anti tuberculosis drug. Then chlorpheniramine, just go through this. Okay, used to treat the itchiness, relieves redness, itchy nose, and throat infection, throat. Itching in the throat or itchiness in the throat, ear infection. All these are the allergic, anti-allergic type, chlorophenaramine, it is the antihistamine. Basically, we are using to treat the, uh, which one, allergic conditions, which one, this chlorophenaramine. Next, uh, let's move towards the 19th, we have completed, now the question number 20th. See, question number 20th here, haloperidol, this is the structure of the haloperidol go through the structure structures are very important on structural base you will get 35 to 40 marks in your pharmaceutical chemistry too 30 to 35 marks only on structures then only these structure what i have uh, plotted now in these uh, booklets okay what i have uploaded now in the description you just go through those structures and uses those are enough for examination used to treat mental disorder this haloperidol then it was used for schizophrenia patients thyroxine you are better with this you are familiar with this structure of the thyroxine used to treat hyperthyroidism it is a metabolic hormone used to control the digestion heart and muscle work see in the examination hall if you are unable to draw the diagram means better you write the uses don't uh, skip this uses now you are having uh, more time 15 to 20 days you are having uh, time for your examination maybe your examination will be conducted in the next month august so here you are having a lot of time you practice these structures if you practice the tri is a quadra means definitely you will uh, able to draw these structures hmm. then uh, uses these are very familiar uses then cyclopropane see very simple structure general anesthetic agent used as a mild tranquilizer then furosemide see benzene ring one then furon ring one then loop, it is a looped uh, diuretic medication used to treat a fluid buildup due to the heart failure and liver scaring. Sometimes they will ask you write a note on the 
लूप डायूरिकेट डाईयूरेटिक और डाईयूरेटिक मेडिकेशन एट दैट टाइम यू हैव टू राइट दिस फ्यूरोसामाइड देन दिस वन स्ट्रक्चर देन यू हैव टू यूज सिंपल दिस इज ऑल्सो हाइड्रोक्लोरथाइजाइड इट इज ऑल्सो अ डायूरेटिक ड्रग और मेडिकेशन डायूरेटिक सी कॉन्जेक्टल हार्ट फेल्यूर वी आर गिविंग दिस वन विच वन हाइड्रोक्लोरथाइजाइड then a define and classify vitamins these are the organic compounds which are essential for the normal growth and the nutrition and are required in the small amounts k means these are not provide provided inside the body or these are not synthesized just we have to give through the diet these are essential for the body so collector from the diet external materials like food drinks what we are consuming no from that we are collecting these vitamins vitamin a b c etc functions they have diverse biochemical functions vitamin a acts as a regulator of cells and tissue growth and differentiation then vitamin d provides a hormone like function means it regulates the metabolism of bones and other organs see vitamin d vital role here very important role it will strengthen your bones then it will uh increase the absorption capacity okay of the sunlight this all regulation is uh, conducted by vitamin d now classification these are either class they are classified in mainly majorly two types one is water and another one is a fat soluble water soluble nine water soluble vitamins are there eight one is vitamin b totally b category is of the eight vitamins then only one vitamin c then fat soluble four they are fat soluble a d e and k vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k these are the four fat soluble and eight uh, water soluble uh, vitamins you will observe in the surroundings now next uh, 20 uh, now 21 we have completed now see this is the 22nd question classify antiseptic and disinfectant with example one of the very important question this one antiseptic these are the drugs that are applied to the living tissues to kill the bacteria and to stop their growth in uh, in wound thus preventing its infection they do not heal the wound but prevent the wound from getting infected like that all boric acid these all are the example hydrogen peroxide classification of antiseptic phenol derivative example cresol alcohol ethanol now disinfectant they, these are the substances that are applied to the non living objects to destroy microorganisms that are living on the objects microorganisms these are living bodies where on the non living things like table dust to wipe this we are using the disinfectants classification physical one chemical agent in physical heat and filtration okay now in chemical agent halogens alcohol surface active substances substances alcohols these all are the uh, chemical agents uh, classification of the disinfectant then write a note on clotrimazole see simple it is anti fungal medication used to treat the vaginal yeast infection oral thrush diaper rash tinea versicolor tinea versicolor and other types of ringworm infections it is also used for the treatment of athlete's foot then structure see this one is a structure of your clotrimazole hmm very simple structure just 1 2 3 benzene ring one more is n then here chlorine is attached to the benzene ring mechanism of action it exerts its action primarily by damaging the permeability barrier in the fungal cytoplasmic membrane mainly they will destroy the cytoplasmic membrane of the fungal then clotrimazole it inhibits the biosynthesis of ergosterol okay ergosterol it gives a more enhancement property for this fungal so this clotrimazole what it will do it will inhibits that is to which one uh, ergosterol then explain the four functions of progesterone and testosterone progesterone female hormone uh, prepares the wall of the uterus so that the leaning is able to accept the fertilized egg it also inhibits muscular contraction of the uterus that would probably cause the wall to uh, reject the adhering egg means uh, uh, it also inhibit muscular contraction these are the common during pregnancy so it can be inhibited muscular contraction by this progesterone if it is not inhibited means what happens due to the contraction of the muscles uh, the egg which was adhered to the uterus no that will slips and go out uh, from the vagina and it uh, cause loss of pregnancy then it regulates the menstruation it supports pregnancy in female body functions of testosterone all you know that it is a male hormone then it helps for the production of the sperm it enhances the men's sex ability it helps for the production of red blood cell it helps for the synthesis of the estrogen 
it provides muscle strength it provides bone density then uh, proper secretion of testosterone maintains a physical development also clear these all are the functions of the testosterone and progesterone then explain cholinergic drugs with example last question 25th very important question this is cholinergic drugs drugs these are the category of pharmaceutical agents that act upon the neurotransmitter acetylcholine acetylcholine it is a protein present in the neurons very important one mainly this cholinergic drugs will act there uh, it acts primarily on the parasympathetic nervous system they are mainly classified in two categories one is direct acting uh, cholinergic drugs another one is indirect acting in direct acting what happens they will work by directly binding to and activating the muscarine receptors see musica muscarinic sorry okay Mus muscarinic muscarinic these muscarinic receptors mainly these are receptors of acetylcholine acetylcholine i have told you these acetylcholine they are the proteins they will activate the acetylcholine okay the, for an example acetylcholine carbocol pilocarpine then indirect acting cholinergic drugs means they will act indirectly drugs that inhibit the hydrolysis of acetylcholine uh, by the enzyme acetyl cholinesterase which provides their choly cholinomatic uh, effects indirectly they will indirectly inhibits the acetylcholine activity then uh, example is a uh, neostigmine and galantamine these are the some of the examples for the cholinergic drugs yes my dear brothers and sisters these are the very very important 25 questions uh, for your examination of uh, pharmaceutical chemistry 2 i have told you i will give 30 questions but in this uh, 25 questions uh, i have suppressed some questions like structure and uses uh, there i have given six six seven seven structures in one question there i have suppressed why because of the uh, wastage of page and also wastage of time for that reason i have compressed those questions in a single one so if you like this video subscribe my channel let join pharmacy and this type if you want on other subjects of your pharmaceutical um, sorry diploma in pharmacy second year like uh, if you want pharmaceutics 2 inshallah in next video i want to prepare pharmaceutics 2 so if you want that means you can uh, subscribe this channel then you can comment me in the comment section thank you assalamu alaikum and don't forget to download these answer booklet from the description